sitting right behind me. She did not know what to do. Abby, did she congratulate you? She never said congratulations to me. So as a sign of good sportsmanship, come on, we're going to go tell her that our kids did a great job. I went to the dressing room to see Kathy because I want the B costume back. Hello! All right, we just wanted to tell you all congratulations. I, I thought you did a great job. I don't know what happened. But anyway, do you have my B costume? You mean, hold on, the ugly bee costume that Vivi wore? Yes. It's I gave it to the good will. Solo. That was $300. Bill me. It's, it's a memory. memory. It's, it's irreplaceable. Sentimental. Sentimental. Listen, disco ball, I'm not talking to you today. This is between Abby and I, so pipe down. You need disco ball. Kathy is just a rude, mean little woman. She is a nasty old bat. By the way, Christy, Whoville called, and they want your nose back. Oh, my God, Kathy. Listen, Go ahead. when you have a better insult, something that Go ahead. is... I'm not, I'm not listening to you when anymore. When you have a better insult, insult that's a... Please e. get out of my face. Oh, no, I'll get right in your face. Oh, you guys know you won't. Just go bring it, bitch. It's you know, that. that's wonderful that you talk like that in front of your kids, but we don't talk like that in front of ours, do we, moms? I know. Well, you know what, Kathy? Move along. The dog pound is calling. Move along. Oh my God, do not put your hands on me. Lauren. Get out of my face. Your pay less shoes need to walk out oh of here. Oh my God, all you care about is money. I'm not really? talking about because... Oh my God, that's all you talk about. You obviously have a complexity issue. I'm talking about style Take and you your have hands none. off of me. You know what? Take your hands off of me. Kathy wrapped that icy cold bony little hand around me. It was like the Grim Reaper was holding onto my wrist. Ugh. Move along, disco ball. Oh my god, you wish! Guess what, Kathy? You can't beat us. So go home. Stop trying. Give up. Where is Brooke's costume? Ew. That looks like Mackenzie would wear that. that. Brooke's costume is awful. It was hot pink and it had red polka dots on it that were stickers. It was just Terrible. I don't know how we're gonna come up with another costume, but Brooke is not wearing this costume on stage. That is just ugly. Does it look like 13 to no, 15 she looks age? Like Kenny, why is the clown? Here, Gia. Brooke gets handed her costume. It is probably the ugliest costume I have ever seen. And all eyes fall on Vivi's top. And all of a sudden, Brooke is now wearing Vivi's top. I like the top. Vivi finally gets a costume that is a custom-made costume, and we have to now share. I'm not happy. <laughs> Let's get some glitter. Uh, you put glitter, like a glitter on Kathy's costume? Oh, screw Kathy. I ain't afraid of her. Ooh. <laughs> How'd it go? It's good, but you know what? I I thought about it, and I really don't want Paige. Paige, what's your kid's name? Move, Brooke. please. I don't want Brooke wearing the costume. I'm sorry. I just I thought about it, and I saw you over here floundering the way you were sewing that, and it's not gonna look the same tomorrow. And we just need to come up with something else. Whatever, Brooke. Take the costume off. You know what, Kathy? If you don't want to be part of our group. You know, don't come to our studio. Kelly, it has nothing Get to do with Get the costume off. It has nothing to yes. do with the. My daughter is dancing in three minutes. Well, and you're I'm taking sorry. the costume I know, off. I know, but it's ridiculous that Whatever, you guys Kathy. aren't prepared. Come here. No, you want to come out here, Kelly. We need to talk. Leave our studio. I don't need to leave your studio. No, My daughter I, has I, to I, go I, on no. stage. I think we need to talk. Yeah. Kathy's way out of line coming up to me three numbers before my daughter is going on stage and having her take her costume off. You're doing it to show Abby something. No, and I'm not. I'm not doing hurt. it to show Abby anything. It's whatever, just that Kathy. I haven't come and asked Kathy, you for costume. How did no, we No, but even, everybody else. That's how, what we do as a group, How did we even Kathy? come to that? We always share costumes. I mean, that's what a group is about. They haven't had a new well, costume whatever. the way everybody else well, Why didn't you tell me this costume? earlier how so many, I could have got my costume Kelly, from Maddie? how many new costumes have you had? It doesn't matter. Go back matter. to your studio. I'm, you know what? I'm not. I'm here to stay. So yeah. like it. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Neither well, does anybody else. that's your problem. That's your problem. You need to like it. Well, here's your costume, and you can sew it yourself. Hire one of your sewing ladies well, to I sew it. Well, I intend to. 
she ripped the costume off of her and she had the audacity to throw it at me. Now, my daughter is gonna dance in her leotard and tights. And I'd like to have one of your kids from your studio out there dancing against her. Because I can guarantee you, you know what? Oh. she will beat oh, her ass. I doubt it. Leotard. I, I doubt it. Watch. I doubt Let's it. Let's go. I doubt it. Your kids all have sickled feet, and it blows my mind. Yeah. That's all you hear is yeah, sickled Kat. feet, sickled sure. feet, sickled feet. And they all have them. Let's bring your studio. You know so what bring competition it on, we go to? Bring it bring on. It on bring it on. Do not let it upset you. OK? You look fine. You don't need a costume to win. Next up, Team Room Contemporary with the Waiting Room. One minute. <laughs> hustle. hustle. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're crooked. It's nuts. It's a live game. How many minutes do you have to put your props out and get started? Two. Is that in the rules? Two minutes. Two minutes? Is someone timing this for real? What's going on? What is going on? They need, they need, I would have disqualified them. You're holding up the competition. Hi, excuse me. This is typical Abby. Because BDA won nationals last year, Abby's making a personal mission to find any technicality or rule to keep BDA from dancing today. They disqualified. I disqualified. Excuse me. Can you please explain to me? Excuse me. As I'm a studio owner, could you please explain to Read me? Read the rules. Read the rules. I d listen. Those are props. Props are supposed to be set up in the hands of the They want to set up. Let them dance. This is ridiculous. They want to dance. We can't be disqualified. We worked all week for this day. Okay, so there was a misunderstanding with the rules and safety rules, and there were some emotions. And we actually going to do it. Is it a? <laughs> Is it a points off? It's points off. Okay, good. You know, I want, I want to get to that. Excuse me. I'll be back. I was incredibly frustrated after talk board. I want the best for my daughter. I want her to shine and have the same opportunities as the rest of the girls. Once again, Nia has been passed over for a solo. And I'm angry, I'm frustrated, and I'm really disappointed. I'm really sick of it. One, two. I'll just for one second. Really quickly. How come Nia doesn't have a chance to do her solo? She's not being stretched, because as you said, like, well, no, more no, 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 no. And the thing I, is that I don't want Nia to get to the point where she thinks, oh, I'm settling. Oh, it's good I only do two group numbers. All these moms want their kid to be in the spotlight, but it's just not that easy. It doesn't work that way. Not everybody can be in the spotlight. You have to have the talent. And some have it, and some don't. I want her to feel yeah. successful. I want her to feel wanted. I want you in there with her private lessons. I told you that several weeks ago. It's the ballet technique. So it's over and over and over. And Nia, come on, wake up. What are you doing? And it's frustrating because she doesn't hear me. I feel like I'm not being heard, and she just gives me whatever answers that are hollow. They, they don't have any meaning to them. She's just trying to shut me up. It's not about how many dances is this kid in, and how many is that, and how much is this person paying, and how much is that. Really, Holly, that has very little to do with it. I don't want you coming back in and I saying don't. you're too tough on her. I don't. I want her to know, duet, trio, is it worth doing the, the putting the time and the energy in. I want to see action. Words are lovely, but I want to see action. I want to see some type of commitment to Nia. Nia's a good dancer, but is she great? Not yet. These moms think that everything should be fair, but it's not fair. Life isn't fair. Every competition has different rules, different age categories, and I want to put the kids in that are going to win. All right, let me see. Uh, you out, you in. Go. I'm watching rehearsal, and it's like Abby's playing games. Paige will do the dance one time, and then Nakaya does it the next time. Please tell me who is on the team here. That's her turning foot that's hurt. Oh. It's her left foot. Look, it doesn't point like the right. right foot. All right, you're both boring. 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 My foot's really bothering me in rehearsal, so I just hope Miss Abby lets me take it easy. Hey, Dina. How's your foot? Oh, I'm so sorry. Your foot okay? What's the matter? It kind of hurts when I step on it and I do the kick. You need to say, Miss Abby, it hurts when I step on it and fan kick. Can I just mark that until I'm on stage? She will say yes. This is your first day of not having a cast on your foot. Paige has waited for four weeks 
to get this boot off of her foot. And Abby keeps pulling her to put someone else in the dance. All right, ladies, I want you all to know the page just came to me and said, can she mark the pancake? Because it hurts her supporting foot. I'm just letting Paige sit out of during rehearsal because her foot is still bothering her. I'm not replacing her, but if that foot still hurts come competition time, I will. The show must go on, and it's gonna happen no matter who's out there dancing. If she's injured, she shouldn't be on stage. She should save it till she's ready. One part of me wants to go down there and just knock somebody out. So I excuse myself. I'm done. You holy I can't. Once again, Kelly overreacts and throws a hissy fit. Well, you know what, Kelly? The reason I keep bringing new moms and new kids into the studio is because of behavior like yours. I'm sick of it. Kaya, if you weren't here and Kaya wasn't here, this whole issue would not exist. I think where it started was that Abby was that? choosing between Nakaya and Paige. Her mom was sitting there saying she don't think she's ready to go out there and dance yet. Paige is still hurt. That's you. She does not need to be there. She's a doctor. Are you a medical doctor? What the hell is the problem if one more kid is added? You got the wrong mama this time, because I don't back down to nobody. You don't scare me. Well, maybe you found the wrong mama. I ain't found the wrong None of y'all don't move me. The, the point is, is that Paige is either going to dance or Nene's going to dance. She okay, said she I'm not going to give y'all the If Abby says she's going to do this number, we're going to be in LA doing the number. And I don't have to answer to any of y'all. I don't care. Kelly's storming out of the studio and the mom's upstairs screaming at each other. I decided something needed to be done. So I called them all downstairs to straighten this mess out. I'm sorry, I think it's ridiculous. No, I think it's ridiculous too. I have a kid that I don't even know. It's from another studio that moved here. I have a kid that's hurt. I'm liable, ladies. This is a business. I want Nakaya to take out broke back Brooke and Peg Leg Page just to shut Kelly up because she talks so much. I just want to prove to her that her daughters are not all that she thinks they are. She's upset because she said nobody's dancing, the routine looks stupid, and her daughter is always in the back burner. No. But I don't like them blaming and saying because Nakaya walked in between Paige and a student that isn't even your student. She's not That's choosing her anything, but it's up to it's up to Abby's discretion, not yours. All of y'all are full of crap, so I don't oh, care. Yeah. Me that's not true. Yeah. Yeah. I can, you can have one another. Because you're Doing this. Why you are. We don't know what's going on with the number. This is chaos. So, considering the behavior of these mothers, you told me that you were ready to go to California. I think you should go. I am not making you a promise that your daughter is in this. So don't get there and start acting like that. I saw Jill at the competition talking to people from her old studio. Jill, have you seen some of your old studio friends? Just a few. Yeah. Keeping your tabs on that old studio. Absolutely. Why, are you guys not allowed to, like, no. No. fraternize with the enemy? No, absolutely not. That's crazy. Why? She wants to discourage studio hopping. I am not surprised at all that Jill's been in contact with her old studios. That's what Jill does. She always looks for where the grass is greener, and that's where she goes out the pasture. You know what? Always got to keep your options open. Is, is, is that the reason why you're out there chit-chatting with all your old friends? It's actually going. none of your business, but yes, uh, it's my business because who I talk to is your business? I don't think so. Oh, well, no, no. It's my business if you're only here to gather information and go back to your old studio. That's my business because it affects my daughter. You guys sit here and you complain and you complain and you bitch at Abby, but you never move. Pick up and move, baby. You will find something else. You really, really, really like to change studios, so maybe you ought to change back and go back to Studio 19 if it was so great. You know what? Maybe it is. Kelly and Christy are stinking up the place. All this bitching is flying around, and I really need to get out of here. Don't I can't take you guys up. anymore. I can't take it. What a surprise. Jill stormed out of her room once again. The group number started. Peyton and Maddie come downstage, and Peyton takes a kick me sign and puts it on her back. Maddie's ponytails were kind of in the way and Peyton put it up too high. So instead of enjoying the number, we're all looking at Maddie's back to see if the sign's gonna stay on. And I was cringing. What goes up must come down. Liar, liar, you're a liar. I'll never be your friend again. <laughs> So I love to watch these girls dance. I totally enjoy the group numbers. However, this one 
didn't stick with me too much. It didn't stand out much. The only thing that stood out in my mind was Peyton because she was eight feet taller than all the other kids. And I'm not sure she pulled off the bully role very well. What do you think your critique's gonna be? Look, look. Better than Kendall? I thought she did better than Kendall, too. Thanks. I think you'll be getting that sweatsuit. Peyton, you almost screwed the whole entire dance up with the sign. You can't just, like, Wait, stick whoa, 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 whoa. it. No, no, whoa, whoa, me. You have no, to make sure it's on there. Her daughter's ponytail's up high enough. Why are you going to say Peyton did as well? Well, yeah, but she has to correct what no, she's... No, Abby, yeah. it starts from the beginning, and did it should... Did you say no, Abby? No, Abby. I thought she did fabulous. Right, and you're not a dance teacher. Hey, you tell me how you thought she did. I thought she was okay. I think your turns, suit new, never crossed your thighs once. You need to fix that turnout. I thought that I was better than most of the people for you all You thought you were better than most of the people in this group? Wise. Oh, that's cocky. But that's how I feel, performance-wise. Oh. Mm. I was appalled. I cannot believe that a 14-year-old young adult would open her mouth and act like that in a room full of amazing dancers. Did you see everyone else dancing? That's how I felt. Of course she thought she did great. You know, every kid and every dancer that gets out on that stage thinks they are the best dancer. And they think it, they just don't say it. And you know, Peyton being coerced, she said it. We have a really nice camaraderie amongst the girls here. But we don't critique each other. I ask you how you felt about you, not in comparison to everyone else, just about your performance. So everybody was perfect but Peyton? No. You didn't critique one other person? I don't need to. Peyton did for me. <laughs> I don't think there is an apology to give to the group. She said it, it's out there, and it was wrong, and it was bad. It will take years to regain their trust. These are her friends. These are her comrades. This is her team. She shouldn't belittle others. That's my job. Oh, this is us. Nice job. The group dance also did not win their category. I thought for sure, with the level of difficulty, that they were going to win that, and they didn't. So either the judges didn't get it, maybe they thought it was inappropriate. I don't know. So, Peyton, how about that overinflated ego, huh? This group's been winning, 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 winning. Do you think they lost because of her? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to read the judges' comments and listen to the critiques and see what they say. Well, is she going to be able to dance with the team again? I don't know. I don't think what she did on stage really is what my concern is. It was coming back to the dressing room and saying that she was fabulous no, and everybody you, else You know what? You flustered her. She didn't mean it like that. You're, you're talking to a 14-year-old. If you want to fight with I know. somebody, then you I fight mean, with me, her mother. I, it's not I about fighting, her. Leslie. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. But it's different. People are paying me for my opinion. So you are still on probation. You know, Peyton's sassy little mouth may have just ruined her chances of getting off probation, maybe even getting on this competition team. Abby's really mad at Peyton. Why? Because of the way it came out when Peyton was talking about the rest of the group dance and her performance in comparison to everyone else. I, I will speak for myself. I took it the same way that Abby said it. Wait, wait, and then she apologized, and then you're still saying this to me? Um, you didn't let me finish my comment. Well, because I'm pissed off, that's why. Thanks. You don't accept apologies from a 14-year-old? I did accept your apology. Have this conversation with me. But wait, no, 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 there's no, no, no. a lot of enabling no, no, no. going on. Somebody shut you down, and you can't You're not shutting me down, Yes, Leslie. I did. Ladies, I'm standing outside with a dance teacher that's a friend of mine, and I can hear every word you're saying. I'm still upset, Abby. I know, but Leslie, you know what? Your daughter's 14 years old. You say that she's a grown-up, she's this, she's that. She has a smart mouth on her. You need to dig your fingernails into her mouth and tell her to wait, shut her mouth. Okay, stop. Did you not put her on the spot that got her to, to that point where she said something wrong and apologized to you? You did not put her on this team because of her comment. Is that what that's what I want to know? Yes. Then that's a shame. Shame on you, and I hope you feel no better. No shame on me. Lay your head down on your pillow. Don't shame on me. You're going to kick her off to the curb? You don't walk into a dressing room with a whole group of people and say, I was fabulous and you all weren't. It's ridiculous. No, you picked, you let her daughter you know off the You don't why. need to be here. You said you can find a dance to put her in. I did. If Peyton wouldn't have been in that, that would have been Chloe's fault. Yeah. She came in here and had this snotty little attitude, and you back her up. I don't think you guys have to put up with me much longer. I'll be gone. This will be it.